In this video lesson, we're going to have a look at using Paste Special. You should already know about Paste. For example, if we select some data in our workbook and copy that information, then we can paste the information anywhere in the worksheet, workbook, or indeed another document using the, using the Paste icon. And there's the duplicate of the information. Once you've pasted, you usually get this paste icon that gives you one or two extra options. And that's what we're going to be looking at, having the extra options but taking control of it to do it at the beginning. So we'll just undo that and have a look. So we copy our information in the normal way. You can either use the icons or the right mouse button to copy. Select where you want the information to go right click for paste special or use the home tab and the little drop down at the bottom of the paste icon that gives us our options now all these options here are just shortcuts to what you can access using paste special so i'm going to go straight to the paste special dialog box but you can use these shortcuts so click paste special and here is the Paste Special dialog box. You can see the default is All. And that's what you get when you just do a simple paste. It pastes everything. But you can take control and paste only some things. For example, we can paste just the formulas. And then click on OK. And you can see what happens there is Excel has pasted the formulas where there is a formula and the text where there isn't a formula. So it's just giving you the raw information. Let's undo and see what else we can do. So again, I'm going to use the paste icon down to paste special. We can paste values and OK. And what that does, it takes, we just look here, just the value, 10,536. The original had a formula. This is just pasting the value, the result of that calculation. That's really one of the most useful tools you can have. We'll undo and see what else we can do. Paste special. We can just take the formats. There we are. No text at all, but just the format from the selected area. What else? Paste special. We could just take comments and OK. And it's just taking the comments from those cells. Check spelling of name. Check spelling of name. Paste special again. So we won't look at them all. Uh, we'll just try one more. All except borders. And there it's taken your formatting. It's brought down your functions and your formulas. Brought down your formatting but not the borders. So there's quite a few useful things there in Paste Special at the top, but there's extra things we can do at the bottom. Skipping blanks speaks for itself. It will miss out any blanks in the data. I'm going to do Transpose first. So I'm just putting a tick in the Transpose box. It's a toggle tick. So I'll leave the tick in and then OK. And that flips the data around as you can see, the employee salaries going across the top. Now they're going down the column. The names, which were coming down the column, are now going across the row. So again, that can be a really useful feature. That's transpose. Look at that again. Paste special. And it's just that transpose box. What else can we do? Again, we're looking at paste special we can paste a link. Now what that does, if I click on the cells, you can see it's put a formula in there, equals, oops, equals E6, that refers to the original cell. That's got the original formula in it. Now we've just got a cell that refers to that. That's really most useful if you're working uh, to paste information onto a different worksheet or different workbook. So, for example, if I switch to a new worksheet, and then we can do Paste Special from there, and choose 
paste link and then it's brought in just the uh, information none of the formatting but it's linked you can see that formula there says it's linked to the paste special cell e6 so when this data changes so will this data because it's linked they're all just linked to the cells let's try that we'll change this name instead of being a some we'll change it to our tailor and then when we switch back to sheet one you can see that's now changed to our tailor because it's linked to those cells there's another really useful feature I'm just going to select the data and do a paste do paste special just the values and OK so you can see we've just got the values there now what we can do if we want to give everybody a pay rise of say 500 pounds what we can do is put that 500 in a different cell copy that cell select where we want to increase the salaries and then do pay special and it's this section here on operation we can choose to add that information together so add will add that 500 pounds to each one of these cells and obviously you can subtract multiply or divide we'll just leave it as add and OK you watch the values here and OK they've now all been given a 500 pounds increasing their salary and that's uh, not now linked to that cell so I can delete that cell won't affect those results so that could be really useful let's take that 500 pounds back off them select the cell copy it select the cells that you want to paste on to and then do paste special subtract in this operation section and OK and that £500 has now been taken off. So there's lots of things that you can do with Pace Special. Um, I would really recommend you getting some data on your worksheet and just have a go. Copy some information. Choose where you want to put that information. And then try the different Pace Special effects to see what you can get.